they stuck that box in there hopefully it's gonna work flap always gives you a problem right so we'll see flap down But uh, that's my load. It closes. Okay, looks like it closes. That side. Okay, so. Some of the stuff here got left. It's pot metal. Last time I forgot this, it was really hard to get stuff out. Okay, I'm gonna go take this load, dump it, see what it weighs. I think it's uh, 1200 pounds, hopefully 1200. Okay. okay, it was a pretty heavy load. It was uh, 1520 pounds, not too bad. Um, so it was pretty busy. I think uh, maybe people know ahead of time, but a lot of people coming in and out pretty quick. A lot, of, a lot of regular metals, HMS, everything's going there today. Pretty busy. <coughs> Excuse me. So basically, I uh, have to go back to drop off that vacuum. So I'm thinking of maybe taking some more stuff in this van for tomorrow just to dump it and get rid of it. I'll have to see the, what I have for inventory there because some of those appliances, they got like a stainless steel basket or something. I'm gonna strip that myself, but if it's something relatively easy, I could strip it all real quick. I might do that. I still have to get ready for my garage sale too. So that's one big thing. Okay. Been all day here, well, for at least a couple hours now. I've been there's two bikes on the side of the road here. They look like they're really nice bikes here. I don't know why they're sitting there. One's a super cycle, but they look really nice. I don't know why they'd be sitting like that there. Super cycle looks actually pretty nice. Hmm. Kind of sitting off the guy's property a little bit, which is weird. Okay, someone stole him and put him there for now. So anyways. I mean, I've seen a lot of weird stuff thrown away, but... You know, the one bike has got disc brakes in the front, so it looks pretty good. Super cycle's not, not a high name, I don't think, but... Anyways, um, gotta go to Vancouver now, so stand by and I'll uh, see what we pick up in between. Or I may start loading stuff in the van later. And this way, uh, tomorrow I could do a run tomorrow and then pick up uh, stuff from the garage at the other p property, and then just take everything from my my all three garages, my main storage garage, part of my house, whatever's there, and uh, whatever said the other house here in the garage. And then just lay it on a pallet, sir. The garage sale. Okay. Barbecue here. We throw it in. See, you know, near my way. So might as well grab it. I'm dumping it tomorrow, anyways. So.
Yeah, you got some? Yeah. Okay, sure. Let's see what he has. Better move this uh, Electrolux because they get damaged otherwise. These little buckets, those not so bad. Okay, anything, anything's metal. Anything metal, eh? Yeah. You want the container back? No. Well, I guess you're okay. No, no. Okay, thanks very much. How's the, how's it coming? How's the, there's a wash machine here, but I'm not sure if I can grab it. It's so heavy. Looks like it's been gutted. The only option I have is if I back up right to it. Probably about, I don't know. 200 pounds, I think. Can't see nothing with this. Let's see how that looks. All stainless. The more just got it out already. Little van. So, here, lots of money, change. Holy smokes. There's change in there for sure. It's all stainless. Stainless steel ring. This thing here weighs like 30 pounds or more. Okay. I returned a vacuum, so they end up giving me another box of stuff here. All kinds of stuff here actually. Hmm. We'll go through a little later. Okay. Okay, thanks for the tip on the uh, whatever is washing machine or dryer. I don't know, but it's heavy and I hear coins in there, so. Okay, we must move on. All these houses are being torn down whole block it's gonna be all all um, apartments whole block I can't believe it coins you can hear the coins rattling this whole block is coming out unbelievable where's all the money coming lots of appliances sitting everywhere where's all the money coming from it's ridiculous they probably paid easily two million per property for sure Maybe more, maybe three million. When it comes to the development, they pay a lot more money. They probably sell each apartment for seven, eight hundred, nine hundred thousand, probably or more, depending. Okay, not bad. Good score here. Lucky, everything worked out good. It was it was low. I could back right to it. So otherwise, I might have a little bit of a problem getting that one in. Okay, get this bottom on microwave. Right in the corner. The uh, transformer, really heavy. This is number, number 40 maybe? I think it's number 40. Number 40. Okay, well, that's good. I'll, I'll take it. Especially, uh, that's why I say wherever I go, it's got to have an empty van. Just like that. I found a barbecue, picked up a box, and then in the microwave now, and I also have a commercial, whatever it is, I'm not sure. I think it's, it's gotta be drier, you know. It's just front facing. But stainless steel baskets, stainless steel housing, cast or heavy HMS inners, you know. The framing is all HMS. Okay.
Looks like two bed frames here. You can see the heavy frame around that thing here. Look how solid it is. Wow. I should be able to get the basket, I would think. Yeah. It's all stainless steel. Okay. Must have had a big mortar on it. I took the mortar off. Okay, let's get out of here. There's so many people coming and going in these streets. It's crazy. Second time I have to move. Okay. Actually, yeah, not bad amount of brass mixed in. Those brass here too. Cast here. Little pot metal. Anything from the bathrooms, you know, taps, fixtures, that kind of stuff. Aluminum. A little majority, but there's grommets there. Let's see if I can try to sell them. If someone could use them. Pop metal doorbell button. A lot of pop metal in here. Some kind of cast. Okay. Got a bucket all together. Not too fast to tell you if you don't. Well, has to be sorted all this brass and copper mixed in there. A little bit of wire here. But it all adds up fast, if you know what I mean. Copper and brass. There. Okay, I'm gonna maybe get that to machine out and then. 
I kind of like to put some stuff in there. We're going to do a little late run today. Get, the, get maybe half half a dozen appliances out. Okay. Price is going to go go down on shred. So all battles actually. All different grades. So I figure I'm not, I want to at least get a few things out. Get ready for the garage sale. Get, get doing some stuff tomorrow. Getting stuff ready. This just be low grade. See how fast it adds up. Cords after cords. stuff is actually better grade the price is you know, getting bad I have to separate it it's 14 gauge here Gauge actually, right there. I'm going to sort the rest out here as much as I can so at least I can be on top of this hopefully I have some daylight to strip some stuff but we'll see some stainless probably dirty Copper, but some kind of low grade. 
This one will breed. So that's such big insulation on there. That's why I like to cut this off here, just because it's a ferrite in there. It's just wheat. It's not scrap really. It's not for wire, I mean, it's steel. Okay, let me finish up here. Almost there. Okay. I'm going to fill my van up. I sorted some of this metal out here. There was a lot of, um, a lot of incomplete screws, like, so I kind of chucked a lot of them away, but I kept a few. Just load here. So I got uh, one washing machine, two dishwashers. A large dryer, just a bunch of miscellaneous here. Um, I'm taking this just because I don't want to get in, getting it wet. It's probably junk in here anyways, but I don't want it to get wet. Stainless, so so I'll keep probably some of that stuff. Here's some of the mortars I took out. Now three, four. Um, exhaust ones for a stove exhaust got a couple two two of those dishwasher the water things that spray the water and I got uh, three copper mortars and then four smaller mortars so it's kind of hard to see but anyways it's got to be about I would say about 600 pounds here it's probably used to 100 pounds of screws here and different miscellaneous small things so I'll take that back in the morning We'll see how it goes. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day.